Hello guys, so um, today's video I'm going to show you guys how to import custom maps into your Triumph uh, motorcycle and uh, over here I have my bike, the Triumph Sprint RS from 2001 and uh, it has a, I think, model number is MC1000 EPU sorry, ECU, uh, which is the uh, central processing unit for the bike and uh, I over here on the uh, desktop I have a Windows desktop uh, that's running on Mac using uh, Bootcamp I also have Tune ECU installed so that's the program that you need to um, load the custom maps into your Triumph motorcycle um, and of course you need a I think it's called FDTI um, chipset enabled uh, O OBD2 reader and uh, it's a uh, USB based they also make a model that's uh, wireless for your Android phones but I don't have Android phone I have an iPhone so I couldn't use that so I'm using the Windows version um, I think all the procedure is kind of similar for the Android or wireless version but over here I'm just going to show you how to do it on the Windows laptop um, to load a face map to your Triumph and if you have never done any of the uh, Tune ECU stuff, your base map. Let's go to the front of the your base map uh, will be outdated and obsolete. So um, I'll show you guys in a little bit. But the first thing we're gonna do is actually um, unplug fuse number one and fuse, uh, I think that's number 9. Those two are the headlight fuse. I'm going to be running on the battery, so I don't want the headlight to drain too much batteries. So I'm going to pull those two fuses out. And of course, if your bike is different, uh, it will tell you somewhere on the fuse cap what those fuses are. So I get those unpulled, pulled out. And um, over here is your ECU connecting port that actually goes into here. Um, and first thing I'm going to do is actually connect the um, diagnostic cable to this port, the diagnostic port. Okay, I'm going to do it with two hands. So I'm going to put my phone down. And usually. When it's connected correctly the blue light will light up i had a problem before with this bike because the previous owner i think somehow damaged a connection um, inside the wiring harness i have to replace a whole bunch of cables and pins to get this to work because before when i plug it in the light is not even lighting up so now it's lighting up that means um, it's correctly connected to your bike and right now my english ignition is off and my tune ECU haven't been opened, so I'm gonna open my tune ECU. And to do that, I'm actually gonna um, right click and choose run as administrator. So it's gonna open the newest version of tune ECU. And the next is, because right here you can see the uh, connection light, light is uh, kind of flashing red. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn on the ignition key so this light should change and as you can see the light is off that means I pulled the fuse off so it saves uh, quite a lot of battery juice so now it's connected I mean the ignition is on but the bike is not starting and over here you can see the light starts to change and now it's green that means it's uh, connected to your ECU and we'll start to uh, pull a whole bunch of readings. The temperature and uh, barometric pressure reading and a whole bunch of other data. And O2 sensor, my bike doesn't have an O2 sensor so there's no readings there. Um, the throttle, I think from what I read, the throttle um, voltage should be 0 0.58 to 0 0.62 ideally so mine is a little bit off 
um, or find another time to adjust the throttle response. But right now, the bike is ready to load any of the uh, maps into the system. And over here in the uh, test screen, of course, it have a whole bunch of tests that you can um, perform. Anything that's available. So, if I go to map edit mode, this option will become available. Um, there is a read map, which is reading the map from your current sprint bike. Um, so what, what's going to happen if I hit read map? Is there is going to be an error code that pops out. Uh, so as you can see the original map from the sprint loaded from factory is 10017 it sounds really old so let's try to read see if you have a factory um, map that has never been edited you would not be able to read it or save it so anytime you need to actually load a custom map it's probably best to use um, the OEM map from Tune ECU's library, the newest one for your bike. And in this instance, for mine, uh, it's Tune 10150, and that's for the sprint from 2001 before a certain VIN number. Um, so, this is the old model. I'm gonna show you really quick with kind of this kind of um, cast plate uh, over there, and the new one is gonna be black with two separate plates. Okay, so mine. My newest OEM map is this one. So I just click it and it's, it's actually loaded into the system. Um, I'm gonna see if i um, And uh, if you hit map info from the menu, it tells you what this map is for, which is exactly for my bike. And I am actually going to flash this map onto the ECU to replace the really outdated one and that's where you click ECU and hit download this thing the ECU from your bike will start downloading this map um, let's see if I'm able to change so uh, from this map as you can see the response uh, mostly what it adjusts is the response the RPM rate uh, from I guess let's see can't even see from like lower RPMs, so mostly it adjusts the lower RPM area, and uh, and this is the default map, the newest one for the Triumph. I'm gonna hit download. I'm gonna go out and ride the bike and tell you if there's any difference between this this OEM map and my original old OEM map. Okay, and keep in mind. Once you hit download, there is no way back. So this will be the permanent map for your ECU. Um, any anytime you have to adjust your map, you have to go from here um, because your original one will be lost forever. So I'm okay with that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit hit download. Of course, there's a warning. Hit OK. And uh, it's flashing, and there's a progress bar. And make sure your battery is not connected during this procedure, because I don't know what would happen if that happens. And here's the serial number for my old serial number for my ECU and the map currently in the system and after this flash assume this value will change so the parameters rev limit is 9600 thermal fan comes on at 100 degrees and uh, injector flow I don't know what value that is for but okay almost done and the mosquito is uh, already killing me bike just restarted 
and it says download complete. Let's check. So I need to uh, disconnect and reconnect. Oh, nope, it's rebooting. And it just rebooted, and as you can see, the number has changed. So this is the newest home. Sorry, the newest map. Let's see. Double check if any of the values changed, but I assume, I assume probably not. Test mode. Everything looks about the same. The only thing changed is the map value. So um, from this point on, I'm gonna disconnect and uh, do a test ride and let you guys know what happens. It's always good to disconnect from here. And once it's disconnected, I'm gonna disconnect this cable. Oops. So that's how you load a custom map to your Triumph motorcycle. I know Tune ECU can also work on a lot of other bikes, so um, your mileage may vary, but general procedure should be quite similar. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. In the meantime, let me pop all the fuses back to where they are for the headlights. Oops, turn off the light. Turn on the ignition first. Totally forgot. Okay, double check. Yep, works just fine. Close the fuse cap. I'm gonna put everything away and call it complete for this uh, flashing procedure. All right, so uh, I just uh, took a little short ride, probably four or five miles, and a uh, lot of city riding. And I would say the throttle response from between 2000 to uh, 3000 has improved vastly. So uh, with the new tune, the new OEM tune, there is no jerkiness between 2000 and 3000. And before I had the uh, original factory stock tune from a really ancient times, the it's very jerky from 2000 to 3000. So when I twist the shuttle now, it, the throttle now, it's super super smooth. So for anyone that's uh, interested in uh, getting a little more from your Sprint RS, I would say highly recommend get a um, ODB cable and. Uh, get your tune ECU installed and flash the newest OEM tune. I mean, even if you don't do any custom tuning, the OEM tune improves the performance of the bike greatly. So um, yes, highly recommended. And uh, if you guys find this video helpful, please uh, hit like or subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section. Uh, section. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.